Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to our Community Empire's Let's Play of Stellaris. So, this has probably already been covered in the comments by the time you see this video, and I think I put an annotation on the last one. Um, but the reason we had to, like, go all the way around is because we're actually cut off here. Yeah, so this actually has... there's actually two problems here. One, these red hyperlanes mean that this is essentially blocked, right? Because of... The Fallen Empire, they don't have open borders. The other thing is that I've got border friction with them, which isn't good. Now, they're still saying they're that they're dismissive of us, which is good. Um, but we got 42 negative for border friction. So what I did is I signed a bunch of just sort of meaningless trades on my part. I gave them an active sensor link. I gave them like one mineral a month and one energy credit a month for like 30 years, of which they accepted all of them. And I'm hoping that that changes the trust value with them. And I, I don't need to be buddies with them, obviously. I just need them to not come destroy me. That's essentially all there is to it. Okay, we need a new scientist. No, I was going to take it from that, but... That doesn't seem like that great of an idea, now that I'm looking at it. So let's recruit... Leader lifespan or plus five research speed. We gotta oh we gotta dismiss some people. Okay. That's right, we had an election recently. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Five percent flat research or plus twenty-five leader lifespan. I'm I'm gonna go with that actually. In the long run, that'll be worth it. Okay, when we get this breath and power plant, space coal basically, then we'll be able to make a couple of those, or at least one. We have one source down here. Now, something else to consider. One of the advantages of this of us kind of being split is that we don't have to worry about. These guys, really, at all. They're threatening us, we have a rivalry with them. Actually, these guys. Because they can't get to us. Like, they gotta go through somebody else's territory down here, which, in theory, they could do. I've got a fleet sitting down here, I'm militarizing a section down here. They can build a fleet here, to which they could attack me with, in theory, but I'll see them doing it, so... That's not that big a deal, which means they have to come through our militarized system here, which I'm feeling pretty comfortable with. I mean, there's a lot of firepower sitting here. I'd, I'd like to think that we could hold them off. Oh, you need more food, do you? Okay, well, let's fix that. How did that even happen? I don't know. Well, it grew beyond what you had for food, Mel. Right, right. Okay, what's the easy fix? Well, this. How much influence? How much, is that, what does that cost? 150? All right, we can do that. That's why, because we had this and it expired. That's what happened. That's fine. We'll go ahead and build some more food then. You don't have a Frontier Clinic? Really? Okay, well, let's build that then, and then slot this guy on top of it. Do I replace one of these? with the space coal. No, it's already established. That doesn't seem like the best thing to do. We could put it down here. Let's do that. This is also the source where we're getting it from, so we won't have to worry about disconnect. So like if we actually never have 
Or if we lose this, then okay, fine. Then we've lost it and it's on that system. So versus this supplying the quote unquote space coal and then we're having issues at the other end if we lose it or something. I don't know. It kind of made sense in my head. Okay, what are you doing? Not much, just sitting there, huh? I guess you could go scout. Okay, let's grab another Psy army. These things are amazing, by the way. Look at these stats. Morale damage, 9 to 18. 250 health, 600 morale. Insane. Okay, embark. Go ahead and recruit another one. And you guys need attachments. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that looks nice, right? All that green? I mean, we're still behind, um, but remember, we're also playing on hard difficulty, so... And we had a couple of, what, two or three advanced AI starts. So I did, made it a little tougher than maybe I should have. <laughs> I don't know, we're still alive, that's the important part, I guess. How long until we have Arid World? Okay, so that means... That we can take this and get rid of that frontier, finally. That'll be nice. Matter of fact, uh... Why don't you go ahead... Here, let's go back up to fast speed. What are you, scouting? Yeah, okay. Research complete. Yeah, we have closed borders to these guys. Okay. New research. Quantum destabilizer. Hmm. Subspace sensors wouldn't be bad. Plus 5% energy credits? Hmm. I mean, across the board, that's a, that's a lot, actually. Or physics lab. Let's grab this. The money will come in handy. Okay, colony ship. Move these forces out here. Go ahead and embark. Construction complete. Enter orbit.
We have two fleets, one that's going to be about 3,000, the other one's around two. So here we've got, let's see, that's 4,000... Five. So we got about 8,000 military power right here. That should be a match for what these guys have in terms of fleet. This fleet power is superior, but against all of that, I think we're, we'll be okay-ish. They're definitely ramping up, though. That's kind of apparent. But as soon as we can build some cruisers, we will. Go ahead and merge. This should be more than a match for any planetary defenses this guy has. Complete. You know, the other thing too is we talked about this really early on in the LP. Um, this guy's got worlds that we want, so it's not like this isn't necessarily going to be a good thing. If we can win this, this would be really great for us. Because we've got, um, we've got a good relationship with these guys. Matter of fact, can we get maybe an active sensor link going? There we go. Give them our star charts. He doesn't want to do a research agreement, which is understandable, but let's get this going. Okay, accepted. Good. Now, has our disposition with these guys changed at all? I guess it doesn't really matter that we have these things with them, huh? doesn't appear System to have made a difference. Complete. System survey complete. Lots of upgrades. Let's go ahead and grab these. Okay, they need more money. All right, no problem. We got you, dude. We got you. That sector operates at a loss, which is fine. The other resources are worth it. We get minerals and some science from them. It's every once in a while we got to give them some cash. It's no big deal. You know what I'd like to have on this system is another, uh, some kind of defensive platform, but there's, we don't have any yet, like Military Academy or something like that would be good. Speaking of defenses, yeah, you got all that decked out, right? Yep. Research complete. Arab world is done. We have that colony ship ready yet? Almost. Okay, let's see. Hydroponics 2. Leader enhancement. Selected lineages. Ooh. Oh, that's... That's tempting, isn't it? All right, let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> let's do it. Pretty easy to tack myself into that one. Complete. Production complete. Do the upgrades or do we build more ships? Kind of a tough call. I think we can hold off on these upgrades because we don't need we don't need those right there just yet. This we can do, however. 
Because we need minerals. One, two, three, four, five. How are we doing over here? 90% habitability. Yeah, that's nice. Construction complete. There you go, Frontier Clinic. How much is that? 150? No, we'll wait, we'll wait. I actually want to put another defense platform out here. You're done with that. Is this in our space yet? It is. System survey. How much is that gonna cost? 90? Alright, grab that. Oh, this is gonna be pretty nice right here. Yeah. To do that. Boom, boom, boom. Or we could go here. That's actually worth giving up one square, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go there on the edge. They've got these guys, the Evelynt Collective has got people scouting all the way up there, really. Interesting. I never did get rid of these crystalline entities, but it's not that big a deal. I can't do anything with that system right now anyway. Is this within our space? It is. Okay, well we definitely want those resources. get that. Yeah, we're still gonna go build a another military outpost. Actually, you know what? Let's just get a constructor ship for out here. They're not expensive. 165. Let's grab that and then build a cruiser. How much research stuff do you have here? Not a whole lot. I was gonna get an observatory, but nah. Construction complete. Yeah, we need at least 10 pop, which we don't have yet, right? Construction complete. Or do we? No, we don't. I really want to speed this place up, so... Oh, for a second I thought that was the- <laughs> Thought that was somebody declaring war on me, I got nervous for a second. Things puckered up a little bit, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That looks pretty good. 
are we coming along here? We're doing okay? One, two, three, four. Okay, you can't upgrade just yet. You do have plenty of food, however. Since that colonization is done, we'll hand it over to that System sector. Survey complete. Construction complete. Is that the construction ship? Yep. You know, we could move everything forward and take this system. I would lock these guys out. Construction complete. Because right now they can they can bypass through here, but would these guys let them? I don't know, probably they're neutral, right? Tough to say. They haven't yet. It's another desert world over here. I just I saw that on the sensor. I saw it. Hmm. It might be worth the influence short term to do that. Actually, you done building this? Yeah, you are. All right. Let's go down here. Yeah, go build a frontier outpost there. Colony established. Okay, colonies established, but you're not going to stay with us, so I don't really care. Nope, I'm gonna get rid of you right now, actually. Well, kind of. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, manage. Get rid of that. There we go. That's still independent. We've got this. We've got this. Mining stations, research station, mining, research. It's a pretty big investment to grab all that stuff, but worth it. Worth it. Got some more space coal. So, um, I guess we could optimize this world for energy generation. System survey complete. All right, let's do that. We'll switch this over now. Mm -hmm. 
And did I get rid of that frontier, or did it does it do it automatically? No, I didn't. Okay, so get rid of that. Boom. Another influence. Takes a while to build that, huh? Question is, do we move those fleets forward? I'm thinking that we do, and here's the reason why. Because the reality is, if these guys decide that they want to destroy us, we can't stop them. Um, so why worry about these, you know, why worry about the Shemar conglomerate coming for us? If they do, it's done. So we might as well take this fleet and sit it right down here, which cuts off our only rival at the moment, and the most likely to attack us, right? Construction complete. You can enter orbit there. Construction complete. You go right here. Why is this inactive? Missing the following resource? No, you're not. Well, actually, wait a minute. You you might be. <laughs> what we don't we don't have that. So we had it and lost it? How did we lose it exactly? That makes no sense whatsoever. All right, well. Did you just Alien Space Station investigate? Really? Are you for real with this? Did you just put an did you just put an outpost there? Orbital station is already orbiting this star. Well, okay, that's that's pretty bad. All right, we'll swap this back. But that was a scumbag maneuver what those guys just did. I can't deal with it right now, so I won't. But that's not over. They just stole all that essentially. Bastards. I guess I should should have closed my borders. I see. I don't even have bad relationships with these these guys. Construction complete. If I close my borders to them right now, I'm gonna find out. Confirm. Ah, there we go. We got our resources back. Leader died. Okay, let's see. And recruit. We'll take this guy with the flat 5%. Alright folks, well that's going to be it for this one. Now when we come back, I'm guessing we're going to end up going to war with these guys. 
Yeah, that seems pretty likely. We got a desert world down here. I didn't even realize that. And it's only an eight, but still, it'd be good for taking this territory. Anyway, we'll, we'll address that in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal, and I'll see you later.